Developing this morning as the Chicago Police Department mourns police officer Luis Huesca after he was murdered Sunday. There's still no word on any suspects in custody. CBS 2's Assal Rezai live at CPD headquarters this morning as the investigation continues. And once again, the department is dealing with the death of one of their own in recent months and years. All too often, it seems like we're talking about this. Yeah, difficult, difficult week for the department, Assal. Yeah, absolutely, Dana and Ryan. It's an absolutely uh, devastating reality for the Chicago Police Department. And we know investigators were canvassing the area where Officer Huesca was shot yesterday, looking for any possible surveillance footage or evidence that could lead them to any possible suspects. Officer Luis Huesca was killed early yesterday morning, as you mentioned, as he was returning home from his shift. We're told he had his uniform on as he was shot multiple times in an alleged carjack. Police say his car was found, was stolen from the scene and then found abandoned later. Just hours after that shooting, the officer was on the force for six years and was just two days shy of his 31st birthday. We know in what seems to be a cruel twist of fate, Officer Huesca appeared in a tribute video for his good friend and colleague, Officer Andres Vasquez Lasso, who was shot and killed responding to a domestic violence call. It's a chilling reminder of the challenges police officers face each day. Whether it was at work or outside of work, he did take the time to to help others, and he's one of those guys that actually deserves this star. We know there were a number of tributes, vigils, and processions for that fallen officer yesterday, and those will likely continue well into this week. So far, Chicago police say they don't have anyone in custody in connection to that shooting. They say the investigation is ongoing this morning. I'm live at Chicago Police Headquarters. That's Al Rezai, CBS 2 News.